Hi, this is Kenny Che speaking. Uh, I'm from the Department of Energy Engineering, National United University. In this section or this unit, we're going to talk about the, the cell voltage loss uh, due to the concentration over potential. Um, the concentration over potential is a, because there's a concentration difference inside the electrode or the, on the electro surface, and that makes the uh, cell voltage or the electro potential is a difference from its ideal case, and that will be cause the the voltage loss or the create a concentration over potential. It happens in all different kinds of electrochemical reaction or the electrochemical system. For instance, uh, for a copper plating, then this electrode and in the solution they may have the copper sulfate. And uh, when the copper deplete deposit on the electrode surface, then the on the surface the copper ion was consumed. So on the bulk the copper ion had to be diffused and then uh, supplied the additional uh, replenish the copper ion which been depleted on the electrode surface. Or like a redox flow battery. In a redox flow battery and this is a porous electrode, the flow channel is over here. So this is the uh, porous electrode and then the electrochemical reaction is taking place inside this uh, porous medium. And uh, so the vanadium was diffused um, through from the, this flow channel and it diffused into the, the, the porous electrode. There's a concentration gradient or concentration difference inside the porous electrode. Of course, over here the vanadium concentration is lowest and over here the concentration highest because diffusion is in this direction and uh, the vanadium 2 plus was consumed inside the porous electrode. For the fuel cell or the metal air battery on the air electrode side, as we made this is a catalyst layer and this is a diffusion layer, this is a flow channel over here. So the oxygen will be diffused uh, through the diffusion layer and actually consumed in the catalyst layer. Because the, the concentration of oxygen was the lowest, was consumed in the catalyst layer, so the concentration of oxygen is very low here, and the high concentration over here, there's a concentration gradient across the diffusion layer. So from here, we can establish um, the diffusion rate uh, at the steady state, however the the deposition or the ration rate equal to the diffusion rate because whatever this consumed will be supplied by uh, diffusion. So the electrochemical ration rate equal to diffusion rate. And so the current is the electrochemical ration rate e equal to the diffusion rate. The diffusion rate is a uh, uh, proportion to the concentration gradient between the uh, and the bulk and the surface. That's mean over here the surface we can consider this the CB the on the surface without any ration and this may be on the CS the on the surface electro surface and the, the delta is a diffusion lens they might have a different diffusion lens over here um, the diffusion equation uh, if we plot uh, the the concentration against the, in the distance inside electrolyte. We assume this is the electro surface. We think of the copper plating or the air electrode in a diffusion layer. This is on the, the electro surface at x equal to zero. And this is a concentration inside the electrolyte or in a diffusion layer, the oxygen concentration inside the diffusion layer. Then uh, if at equip equilibrium potential phi zero. There's no electrochemical reaction happen. It's at equilibrium. So throughout the entire median, the concentration is the same. There's nothing change. But when the, at phi one, I start uh, change the electrical potential, and then the reacting species was consumed at the surface. Then the concentration at the electrical surface here 
x equal to zero here will be reduced. So there's a start concentration profile uh, or the gradient start established. Since there's a concentration gradient, then the diffusion process taking place and replenish whatever the space consumed at the electro surface. And then if I step down the uh, electro potential further, then the concentration profile will be changed further. And uh, this is the bulk concentration, which is not affected by whatever happened at the electro surface. And uh, the CS is uh, the concentration right at the electro surface, the reaction site. So as soon as I, I change the electro potential, uh, the concentration profile keeps changing until to a uh, specific uh, potential phi 3. At this potential, actually the electrochemical reaction is so fast, as soon as the, uh, the surface, concentration, surface concentration almost go to the zero, because as soon as the species diffuse, touch the surface, it was consumed immediately. So the surface concentration almost zero. And beyond this point, uh, the entire process was controlled by the diffusion rather than the electrochemical reaction. Because I keep changing the potential, uh, there's nothing, uh, the reaction rate will not be uh, changed because it's limited by how fast the, the species can be diffused onto the surface. So, and uh, this, uh, we and uh, the concentration gradient, if we assume over here is a well agitated, uh, it beyond this point, the solution concentration always the same. Only the variation is inside this this region. Then we call this is a diffusion layer, diffusion layer, and this delta is a, the thickness of the diffusion layer. It uh, depends on the situation. The diffusion layer thickness might be somewhere around the millimeter range or even to a centimeter if in a porous medium. But in a solution where agitated liquid, uh, the diffusion length might be somewhere around millimeter or a little bit less. So if we plot the current against different uh, potential, this means the reaction rate on the electro surface. Then um, the the electrochemical reaction equal to the diffusion rate. So the diffusion rate is equal to this. And then electrochemical reaction rate, we can use Tafel equation to express this. They should be equal. And then on this chart, we can see the current uh, plot against the potential. Then at the equilibrium, at the equilibrium, there's no electrochemical reaction. So the, on the surface, CS equal to CB, CS equal to CB, so this is zero here. And this is phi equal to phi zero, so the current equal to zero right over here. But when I change the potential phi equal to phi one, then the ratio start and the current will be increased. And then on the surface, the species was consumed, so the CS drop. So the CS drop, there's uh, some uh, uh, value here because C is less than CB. So this diffusion process started. And because at a steady state, these two terms should be equal. So at a phi 1, the current started increase from 0 to a certain point. This at a phi 1, look the potential. And then the phi 2, uh, the, the current getting higher. And then to the phi 3. At the phi 3, this uh, particular electro potential, because um, inside in this region, the, um, the current density is a function of electro potential. Because uh, the diffusion is uh, very fast, actually the entire rate was controlled, is controlled by the electrochemical reaction. So over here we can see is a um, kinetic control region. But when at this region beyond, the electrochemical reaction, the potential is very large. But uh, the problem is that diffusion is cannot keep it up. So the process uh, f will be shift from the kinetic control range into the diffusion control range. The entire process was, was limited by the diffusion process. So um, in this region, we uh, in this uh, 
diffusion control region, uh, there's a particular parameter we call the mass transfer limiting condition, and then there's a limit mass transfer limiting current. That is uh, at uh, when the C is almost equal to zero here. So when the C is equal to zero, this equation simplify into this one. And uh, on this and on this diagram is uh, given. You can see uh, it's become like a plateau here. If even you increase the electrical potential, nothing happens on the electrical current density here. And this reach a limit, we call the mass transfer limit current density. With this, this equation in mind, this two, then now we can evalu evaluate or calculate the, the concentration over potential delta V, C, O, and C equal to Eb minus Es. The Eb is the electrical potential cell voltage which evaluate at the bulk concentration. We assume in a, there's no concentration gradient inside the electrode. However, in reality, because of the diffusion process, there's a, actually the electrical surface experience the concentration, reacting species concentration is a Cs, not Cb. So there's a difference here. So if we this is the nurse equation over here. So we, 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 this one can be expressed this one. It's a ratio of the CB to the CS. And uh, from previous, we know um, so that we can write that the constraint over potential uh, can be calculated by this term. And uh, the CB or the CS, we can evaluate from previous the current uh, at the kinetic control range that can be expressed by the diffusion term. And at the limiting current density, uh, only the, when the CS is equal to zero, and with this, this is the limiting current. So if I divide by this, I divide by IL, then NFD delta is a cancel out. So this will reach to this equation. And with that, we can substitute this into the CP over CS. We, we obtain the, this equation. So from here, we can calculate the concentration over the potential depends on limiting current density over here. Sometimes, actually, by this equation, we can calculate back what may be the surface concentration. Because of power concentration, we always know. From this uh, relationship, actually, we can evaluate the surface concentration. So the concentration, uh, the voltage loss due to the uh, diffusion or the concentration over potential, uh, as if you plot as a function of current density or current, it just behave like that. In a low current situation, low current, when the I is small, uh, that not too much change. But when it's close to the limiting current, the cell voltage loss increase sharply. And at this point, this is close to the limiting current. This is the behavior of the uh, concentration over potential. 